nice to see you. Come on in. Welcome to our home. Welcome to our home! Uh, each room is pretty easy to show because it's all right here. Right here is our kitchen. We are currently eating lunch. There's our uh, <laughs> deluxe seating arrangement here. We get uh, table service, so that's nice. Uh, we're actually warming up some dinner we had from last night from our impromptu beach adventure. So either stay tuned or go and watch that video if it's already posted. Yum. Anyway. Talking you through what we have here, I got these storage containers at Target. We love the dollar spot. What is it? I think it's Bullseye's Playground now. But anyway, um, if you're looking for storage things, that's a great place to look out for them. I have a lot of gifts. Oh, if you see really random things that look too breakable for us really to have on the road, most likely is a gift. It has sentimental meaning. If you'd like to know about any of them, let me know because I have a story for everything. Um, this sink is wonderful with the split. Uh, I was wondering how I'd like it because before we had a big like tub sink in our house but this is actually really nice one side we use we fill up with hot water and soap and then um, that's really easy for washing and we rinse on this side uh, we've been able to do pretty well we figured out that we've had to like wash dishes after every meal which i think you're supposed to do that anyway but we were lazy so we didn't <laughs> but now we do um, i found this at bed bath and beyond we hung it right above the stove it's screwed in perfect for the spices we use most often because I do cook a lot so this whole area we needed to make sure was actually how we wanted it to be. Love these airtight containers. This one um, I ended up not using the top because I have fruit in it but both of these I actually found at Goodwill. I like this one because it's coffee and we love our coffee here. It has a nice little handle. Anyway, let's enjoy the nice aesthetic of this area. <laughs> We got our microwave, um, which runs off of electricity, and then our stove and oven, which runs off of propane. In the oven, a good thing to know, we put a pizza stone down there because if you don't, um, the burner is only an under burner and it usually is only centered, the only it's only in the center, but putting the pizza stone or pizza slate or whatever under that part actually disperses the heat to help it cook more evenly. So that has been super helpful because I bake sourdough bread in it. I use my clay cooker for all kinds of casseroles. Um, and we just, yeah, we do a lot. Post some food pictures here. All around me. <laughs> this is our fridge. It's a pretty good size. We fit lots of stuff. We are uh, not pre-made people. We cook everything. <laughs> okay, the set says that's enough, but it's a good size. Here's our freezer. And I think, Jason, what did you say that, uh, it fits at least like six ice creams. The ice cream is the <laughs> measurement, which I think you're out right now. Yeah, I am. It's really sad. <laughs> this is our state tracker. We only put them in states that we've like spent a significant time in or have actually done something, which right now uh, is Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. We did pass through South Carolina, but we didn't do anything, so we didn't want to put a sticker there yet. Uh, this is actually where we are right now. Florida! Which is why I'm dressed like it's summer, even though it is March, because it is currently in the 80s outside, but still not as hot as it was yesterday. That was brutal. <laughs> okay, now into our living room. Didn't have to take you far. Here we are. Uh, this is our twin day bed. It's a full stairs. We got it from 
I'll have to put the website because I don't remember. It's not like a mainstream website. It was a little sketch, but Jason did a few calls when things were going on back order and it magically arrived here. So that was good. Don't know if I'd recommend that, but it was nice for the price it was. We're hoping that this would be a good opportunity for guests to stay over because it is a twin bed, twin mattress on there. Um, this is actually, it's a fitted sheet that I made from a throw blanket. I got the throw blanket from Ross. It's very soft and this happened because we were sitting on here when we first I uh, put it together, we were watching TV, and all we had was a like soft throw blanket. So we put it on and we sat on it and we're like, wow, this is really nice. This is much nicer than most couches. So we decided to get a soft throw blanket and turn it into it. If you'd like a tutorial for that, let me know because it was super easy. Um, I love making good sheets. It's one of the easiest projects. The pillows we got from Amazon, if you're wondering a good place for pillows. The really funny part about this whole room is if you, if you notice, there's one very prevalent color, and that is green. Uh, which is funny because in the beginning Jason told me one color that he really didn't want to see a lot of was green. But funny enough, he okayed the color for this, he okayed for the color for the pillows, and he actually picked out the fabric for these curtains. Which the curtains are also what I made on the Hobby Lobby and found uh, supplies they found. Jason and I both went and he selected these. These lace curtains were actually from dear friends of ours. They were in their travel trailer and they weren't going to use them, so I asked to use them. Shout out to the Jones Fosters. Go and follow them in their adventures as they're renovating a travel trailer uh, themselves. But here's this beautiful lace, beautiful butterflies. We love it. Okay, next we have the play area. And so this originally, we got the travel trailer. They had already taken out the dinette. They'd already taken out the couch and everything like that and so we just kind of wanted to make it as open as possible um, we started with a nice memory foam rug which Elliot and Jason actually picked out themselves it is very nice and squishy so it was much wider than this but that's how white rugs go in any place and nonetheless of us going in and out all the time so we decided to bring Elliot's kitchen he loves cooking alongside me we have a few of their toys and this is actually a helper stool that Jason made. Um, he'll probably explain that in another video. Let us know if you want to know more about that because uh, I think he's writing out the woodworking plans for it. So maybe he'll keep doing that, keep you updated on that because he's doing an amazing job with it. So we like to put their toys over here. It's just a nice little play space, especially when I'm cooking. It's right side here so I can keep an eye on them, which really anywhere they are in the travel trailer, I'm gonna be able to keep an eye on them. Oh, our newest addition to the place is our lovely twinkle lights. Actually, speaking of the Jones Fosters, they were the ones, when we first went on our camping road trip, we asked them, because they love doing the camper van experience, which they like talking about, um, we asked them what they loved the most to bring, and they said twinkle lights, which we thought was strange until we bought them. Anywhere you put twinkle lights, it just adds something. It's so cozy, it's a little bit of magic, and they're super cheap. We got two sets of these for five bucks on Amazon. Um, they are battery run. The batteries last forever. I mean, I've had some of these up for Christmas for like the entire month and I didn't have to change out the batteries. Next, we have our entertainment unit. Um, I should, I should have had Jason talk about this part because he did a great job with all of this. He's just become master woodworker in all of this. He uh, installed the fireplace here, um, which I would turn it on, but it runs on electricity and we currently are running off of a small generator. So we'll have to put some footage of that running here. <laughs> but for right now, this you gotta imagine it. It's very nice that you can even change the colors of the flames, which Elliot loves. I like to bring my decor. I have a little bit of a library. Um, this chicken, which has a lovely story of its own from my sweet sister-in-law and sister. They bought us all matching chickens, so of course I had to bring our candy chicken on the road. <laughs> With only essentials, Andy's mints and caramels. But I uh, have plants everywhere. This is Mr. Tiki Man that Jason picked out in Hawaii. Jason also hooked this on. He's <laughs> He hooked this on a mount, which you can see back here. Uh, I was complaining that I didn't have as much uh, decor space, so he decided to install the TV on a mount so that um, I could decorate right here, which helped a lot. Anyway, uh, I did mention before, we have tons of storage space here. You can see them all alongside here. We use them, fill them, all of them. I mean, we got um, a lot of the kids' stuff here. We've got our like junk drawer, which is just batteries, craft stuff, uh, or even like a lint roller here. We use this as kind of our linen closet, especially when we pack up the kids' beds, which we'll explain a little bit more in that. Uh, but there's just a ton of stuff here. Oh. Then we can move into our pantry, 
very deluxe. It was actually a lot roomier than I anticipated. We've got like our potato box, which has all our potatoes. Like I said, we cook a lot. I love cooking, so we make, we do a lot of things from scratch. We have our George Foreman grill down here, and this eventually will be our air fryer if someone had forgotten to pack our air fryer. <laughs> I put all of my uh, flours, sugars, rice, all of that kind of stuff, even oats, in these airtight containers. Uh, shout out to my wonderful sister-in-law, Megan, for uh, graciously giving me these when I was complaining that I didn't have any, because they are super useful and they fill this whole space. I have all my spices, I have an entire spice rack here because I really like yeah. my seasonings, so I was able to bring all of them. Um, yeah, I have my teas in here, whatever foods you can think of in there. So we also got this from Aldi. This is uh, just a wire, I guess, uh, hanger thing. Um, but Jason was able to put, what, two screws in each level? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> two screws on each level and it's been super secure. It holds all the things really well. Oh. Are we good? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> we just decided to come out of the chair. Oh, but look at those overalls. <laughs> okay, and that is our main area. So, here's to Jason to show us the bedroom and bathroom. Hello. So, moving on with the tour. This is the bathroom. Right now, we just got back from the beach yesterday, so there's a load of slightly damp beach related clothing in the sink um, getting washed out but ignore that so it's fairly small but I guess as trailer bathrooms go it's a decent size um, toilet Elliot toilet the biggest thing in here was we redid the shower so when we bought this this was here uh, but the tub was kind of that lovely faded yellow plastic stuff um, so we got an epoxy type thing that painted that white and then we retiled all the walls and everything. It was just a plastic uh, showered liner back there. We bought this. This is essentially waterproof vinyl flooring. Um, we got the idea looking at some YouTube videos uh, to put it on the shower walls. So basically this is just put up like you would put up tile. It's just big tile. Uh, they're interlocking, they're already waterproof, uh, you don't have to seal in between the tiles or anything. Um, and we put in a new faucet and shower head there as well to kind of go with the new aesthetic. So, And luckily this was already stainless steel so it kind of already works out. So for kids, um, we were looking at getting a bathtub but we decided this was probably deep enough and it didn't really make sense to go through the effort to change what was already in here to get a smaller bathtub because we couldn't find one that really fit this size at all. But this is about four and a half, five inches deep anyway. So when we do bath for them, they just both sit in there and they seem to have a good time. So I guess it worked out. Hi, I took over uh, because Jason did forget to mention just the items in here of what we bought. Uh, we got the tiles that he showed you in here from Lowe's. Uh, we actually, so this shelf had a lot of space, but it was weird stacking up everything. I found this set of eight white bins that fit perfectly in here. You could put lids on it to secure them for the stuff that's standing up. Um, I decided not to put a lid, but when we're on the move, I can lay it down, put the lid, and it all stays secure. We got the kids' toys down here. Um, we're able to collect everything that way. Uh, so if you're looking for good to fit space, oh my goodness, I also have to show you my favorite little thing is this tiny trash can. Um, it just fits super well. It was perfect. It's four inches wide. So if you need that tiny little space, one thing I regret not getting um, is a towel rack. We have this to hang towels, but they have some of them that you can roll up the towels and kind of hang them right above the bathroom. So if you are looking at a travel trailer, outfitting it for stuff, um, and you're wondering if that would be a worthwhile thing, I think it would have been because we kind of have a towel pile in here. So those are just my notes on the bathroom. Back to Jason. Alright, so moving into their room, which is really where we spent the most of our time. When we bought this trailer, this was a four bunk room. It had like a little cabinet along the back wall and two bunks up higher, two more lower on the wall. And basically it, you walked in. This was not here. 
uh, you kind of walked in a couple feet and the walls were sort of raised around you because underneath that space is a storage, um, the back storage unit underneath the trailer. So I put in this door to separate them off with the five-fold sliding door. And then we have their roof. So in this area here, you can kind of see the, ooh, that happens. You can kind of see the carpet um, cut out around here. Up to about here is where you used to be able to walk in when the floor is solid. I built this box with a kind of removable lid here. And underneath there is now where we store their toys. I had to bring that vent up so it's still vented into their room when you turn the heat on. Um, that gives us space to store their toys when this is in its sleeping mode. So if you come in, I obviously don't have headroom to stand in here, but they do, so that works. Um, Caitlin did a fantastic job painting all of the walls in here. Um, we wanted to make this a space that they would love and enjoy. It would be something special for them since they were used to having their old rooms and we knew this was going to be a big transition for them anyway. Um, wanted to make this just a really special area for them. So we've got hills, we've got mountains, we've got grass over here. We have a barn that we got kind of shiplap style um, cardboard, thick cardboard stuff. Same stuff you they make pegboards out of. Um, bought that at Lowe's too and painted it red, cut it in the shape of a barn. So it was kind of cool. Um, let's see what else. We have cabinets up here that we built. So the old cabinet was back along the, the far wall. Um, I built some cabinets here where we store all of their clothes and they stay up here. They're out of the way. Uh, the kids can walk underneath these no problem and don't hit their heads on them. So we've got two cabinets here where all their stuff is, all their clothing related stuff is stored. Um, during nap time we have window coverings, it's called Reflectrix, I think, but it's basically the same stuff that you would buy if you buy a shield for your car dashboard window uh, to shield the sun, it's the same stuff. We cut out of that. Caitlin sewed some, <laughs> sewed some fabric on the back of them just to make them look a little bit better. We'll put those up on the windows at nap time to keep them and at bedtime, keep it from being so bright in here. Uh, help them sleep a little easier. Should I like to talk about why this one's blacked out? <laughs> this one's blacked out over here because the youngest sleeps over here and she is very destructive. And like the first time we tried napping in here, she immediately started ripping the window shade off the wall. So we had to figure out a different solution to black out her lower window, which is obviously now a trash bag taped to the outside of the window, so the no more you know. You try hard to make things fancy and then it's destroyed it for you. So, otherwise, um, only other thing is probably the gate here. So when they're playing in here, you can open this up like this. It locks latches to keep them in here. Um, when it's time for nap time, we we'll put the bed in over here for her. Um, you can latch this down here like that. There's a little hole that I drilled into the wood there. So it keeps that from moving. You close this one over here. Latch both of these guys. And now there's a crib basically for her that keeps her contained. Um, it's spaced out kind of like a crib would be, so it's according to safe sleep guidelines. Hopefully, help her not. It's okay. So, um, yeah, so that allows us to both play in here during the day and sleep in here for naps and at night. It is a little bit of a chore to convert everything from one to another to put all the toys away and everything, but this gives them their own space that they can play and they're not just totally running around and destroying everything in the living area all the time. Okay, uh, so this is actually a classical laundry tote. We were looking for something that would hold all of the toys, um, but all of the toy boxes, classical toy boxes, were ranging from like 40 to $60 that were any kind of cute or whatever. Um, but this was $10 at Target. It collapses down really easy. It's supposed to be for laundry. It's got like wire framing, so it holds the toys really well. These baskets, uh, both the kind of 
I don't know, wicker kind of ones and plastic ones that you might see around here sporadically are both from Ross, because Ross has a bunch of random stuff that works really well, which is where we found a lot of um, that kind of stuff. We want to make sure we could bring as many toys as possible because they just really like playing with all of their toys. I actually think we brought more toys than anything else, um, but they've been playing with all of them. So um, all of these windows open up too, which gives really good air circulation. This is fabric I found at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> this curtain. They have two curtains, but Little likes to uh, tear off curtains, so I didn't quite put this one up, but I have one for both lower and I made these two. If you'd like a tutorial for that, let me know, because again, super easy project, super fun. These kind of fabrics pop up all over the place and took like maybe five minutes. So um, for the pack up, if you're wondering like time-wise how long it takes, I'll try to do like a time lapse and we'll officially time it. Usually it's about 10 minutes to turn it from the bedroom to the playroom in the morning, but that's also because they're like jumping on the mattresses. I think if it was completely uninterrupted, it probably could be pretty fast. So we just take off the sheets, um, fold up our tri-fold mattresses that we have, and then stick them under the day bed. And then to get them out, we do the same thing, but in reverse. We take out the mattresses from the day bed, we stick them around here, and then we put the sheets on. There's a method to the madness, um, but it does get done, and I think it's definitely worth it for the space that we're in, because this is a smaller space. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Hello, and welcome to your bedroom. It's cozy. <laughs> um, well, not much to go off of, but I'll walk you through it. This is our bed. It is a queen bed, but it's actually on a, what, full frame, I think? Um, I did this peel and stick stickers from Bullseye's Playground at Target, so I can't link it, but it's at the dollar slot in most Targets. Um, this has worked pretty well. We put a mattress topper on it because I like a soft mattress. This is a duvet cover from Cozy Home Collection, it's from Amazon. Uh, we've made it nice and cozy in here. If you notice the strange looking chair, it's because we didn't have an office space. So um, our solution was to get a chair with a little bit of back support. So Jason can sit on the bed all day, but his back isn't breaking. It's supposed to be a beach chair, um, but it works well, I think, for this. <laughs> That's his work area. He's got a pretty nice view of the forest out either window. We've got two big windows on either side. Over on this side, we have little risers to sit on, and we have two drawers. They're, they're not the biggest, but they do work. So we have two about that size. We have closet space on either side, and we have overhead space that runs through the whole cabinet area. Uh, we actually have this cutout that Jason did. Once he put in the fireplace, we realized we lost use of a shelf. So he cut out this little cubby hole around the support beam and it allows us to have kind of a nightstand desk area. If I shimmy on over to Jason's side of the bed, I'm gonna show you his closet. My closet actually has the kids' closet clothes too, hangups. Um, so it has a bar at the front that we put our clothes on and then we got a tiny tension rod and put it behind there to have a second layer of clothes, which actually fits pretty well, um, but it just fits. So it's not something I can really show you, but I can show you roominess in Jason's closet because he brought a lot less clothes. I don't know if you can see back here, but this is where we put the second layer over on my side. So like I said, we got the overhead, we have all of the clothes there and some space back there, and then we have overhead all over there. He also has two drawers on this side, um, and we have a TV right here. It's about to take your head off. It's also mounted, but uh, it's where we can watch TV because otherwise the kids would hear us if we're in the living room. So, um, yep, that I think is our room. Oh, also Jason doesn't have his up, but I do have mine. I got these hanging um, organizers from Bed Bath & Beyond. Then you have a string up here and you can put it on a hook. 
and it actually worked really well behind here to put um, the stuff that would be in the sock drawer so that fit really well to hang on the back of there um, but my lock is broken so that's why it's not closing otherwise it does close it does fit I promise <laughs> yeah I think that is our home well thanks for stopping by hope to see you again soon As always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos or if you care about what we're doing or even if you don't really care about what you're doing but you feel pressured into doing so, please hit the subscribe button. If you actually care about what we're doing, hit the little bell icon next to it. That'll actually notify you when we get videos, something I recently figured out and didn't know before since I never get notifications for the videos that I subscribe to. Also, if you have any questions or you just want to say hi or give comments, criticisms, critiques, although if you're going to do that, do them to me because I can take them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I take offense. <laughs> but feel free to leave a comment uh, or share the video if you think you have friends or anybody who would be interested in watching it as well. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.